Okay, so today's reminder is going to be a very simple hadith. But in terms of simplicity, no one have, a lot of people actually haven't heard of it though. It's a hadith that's very important to hear, especially at the beginning of Ramadan. So it was narrated from Talha bin Ubaidah that two men from Bali came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They had become Muslim together. But one of them used to strive harder than the other. The one who used to strive harder went out to fight and was martyred, became a shaheed. The other one who stayed a year longer had then passed away. And Talha said, I saw in a dream that I was at the gate of paradise. And I saw them, those two men. Someone came out of paradise and admitted the one who died last, the one who did less. The one but died a year later. But in terms of who action did less than his friend. Then he came out and made one who had been murdered. So first, the one who did less, and then the one who was murdered. And if we don't understand what that means, the level of a martyr, the level of a shaheed is with the sahaba and the rusul and the prophets. So imagine how high level he should have been, but what? His friend that did less? That wasn't even was a bad Muslim, but he just did less. Stayed an extra year in his life, but went to Jannah before his martyred friend. So then, he, then on that night, then he came back to me, which is to the Prophet ﷺ and said, go back to, you, go, oh no, go to his friend, go back, your time has not yet come. But in his dream, told him, what? Well, it's not your time yet, it means you're not gonna die yet, your time hasn't come yet. So then the next morning, Allah told the people of that and they were amazed. And news of that reached the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they told him the story. The story about the friend who entered before his other friend that did much more than him, that died a shaheed as well, on the level of the prophets and the, in the highest levels of the sahaba. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, why are you so amazed by that? We're all amazed by that. We're all thinking, why? But then they said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, the first one was the one who strove harder. Then he was martyred. But the other one was admitted to paradise before him. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Did he not stay behind for a year? And they said, Yes. Okay, so what? He said, And did not Ramadan, did not Ramadan come? And he fasted, and he offered such and such prayers during that year. And they said yes. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the difference between them, the one who died a martyr, and the one who was able to see just one, one extra Ramadan, the difference between them is greater than the difference between them heaven and earth. That's the blessing of Ramadan. That's the mercy of Ramadan. Allah could have easily, easily not given us this blessed and merciful month. But He gave us Ramadan to severely, and this is an understatement, to severely tip our right hand on the scale. So we would be foolish to not take advantage of this month. A person's whole life did less than the other brother and also didn't die shaheed. But what difference between him and his friend on the day of judgment between the difference between the heaven and the earth? So take that as a reminder for all of us when we're thinking about this month of Ramadan, the month of blessings, the month of mercy. Try the hardest you can. There's a reason why we always see him say what? Allahumma balikna Ramadan. Allah, please let us see next Ramadan. Because that Ramadan will make you even more confident in your Akhirah, in your death day. In which, what is our whole goal? The reason why you're fasting, the reason why you're coming here, the reason why in Taraweeh you're praying, the reason why you strive so hard to read the Quran, even though some of us don't know how to read it that well. That's what that gives us an act with these for that. The reason why? Why would we bother? Because there's a day of judgment. In Ramadan, 
is He has a mercy for us to use it to make it easier for us in the eyes of Allah. Allah didn't need us to fast, but we need to fast so we can attain His mercy and His blessings. Jazakallah khair everyone. Let's take some time here the last three, last four minutes to make some dua inshallah, some sincere dua before the, month, the time of Maghrib comes. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Allah. Allah. Allah.